In this video, we'll be using the if function with VLOOKUP in Excel. And we have here our scenario. For example, if we buy a certain fruit and we have a quantity of 10, we should get a discount. And if we buy lower than 10, there should be no discount at all. For this, we'll be using the if function together with the VLOOKUP. But we need to have the VLOOKUP first to get the specific row number. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here quantity of 10, and I'm going to say here equal VLOOKUP, open parentheses, select here the formula builder, and now we have a visual. So what I want to do here is I want to select here the lookup value, which in this case is the banana. Then we have the table array, which is this array here with all the data where we can find the matching values. And then we have the column index number and the column index number is based on the table array. So this means that this is column one, this is column two, and this is column three. In our case, I want to get column three if we have a quantity of 10 and else we should have column number two. For now, I'll just hard code this and later on we will soft code that with the if statement. Finally, we have the range lookup value and the range lookup value will be false because we don't use it at all. 99% or 95% of the time we won't be using that. So right now this looks all fine. We get a 7% discount here. However, if I say nine here, the discount should disappear. However, this here is hard coded. So we should have to change this manually by to column number two, and then it jumps to 0%. So let's start to look how we can soft code that specific part. So what I'm gonna do here is use an if statement, and then I'm going to Select again the formula builder here. And we have here the logical test. The logical test is based on the quantity here. And then we're going to say if whatever our quantity is smaller than the required quantity for the discount, which is 10. So if it's smaller than 10, in that case, please get the column of number two or the values from column number two. So I'm going to say here column number two or else give us a discount of column number three. So here we have this, click on done, close this. And once I have this here now, if I change this to 10, you can see this is working. If I change this to nine again, it jumps back to number two. So let's start to grab this entire code. Then I go in here, go to the function and change this column index number here with the formula we copied. However, make sure you delete the equal sign because that is not allowed. Once we did that, click on done. We have that here, this works. Then I'm going to say 11 again. And now you can see this works. And if I put in here three, this works nicely as well. If I change this to Kiwi, and then I will say here a number 10, we get a discount of 3%. That is correct because the Kiwi gives us a 3% discount. 